The federal government, through the Federal Ministry of Works announcing work sector has reconstructed a 10-kilometer road on Ibadan if a Elisha Dua carriageway in Oshun State. While commending the government for smooth drive on the road, motorists and travelers appealed to the federal government to hasten up in completing the other part of the road. Motorists, however, called on the federal government to put speed breakers at some portion of the road to avoid unnecessary overspeeding. The road is good, but the government is supposed to widen it a little bit again so that overtaking will be easy for all these buses. You know, trailers always ply this through this road. So then I believe in future, government also should make, uh, should make place for where big trucks will be passing so, so that it will be very convenient for travelers. The road is good, it's good. It's good than previous one. So the road is, is okay, it's excellently okay. It's motorable and I believe they are doing well concerning the road. But after, the, after Ikire, we have a lot of roads that are not good there. But I will just employ the federal government that they should continue with the road. But with the, with the little one, this is Koyi Junction towards Ibadan. The road is very good, it's excellent. We are seeing the road now, everything is okay, motor is moving on there and there. And we still need, we still need a more extension because that this road, they stop it at the Akira area there. And they are not continuing it, uh, there is not continuity there. We still need more continuity because the road is bad at the front there. But this one now is okay and we are really enjoying it. Uh, we are really, really thank federal government because they are doing well. They are doing good for us. If they are still continuing about this now, if they are still continuing about the road for more uh, uh, progress, we really we, we appreciate it. But we are really thank federal government. I commend the effort of our government. They have done well by the special grace of God, and I will encourage them to do more so that people will be praying for them. So I have to help a lot of motorists. We have problems from Ibadan down to anywhere we are going in this, in this southwest. But since we have, they have constructed this road, in fact, uh, it has his movement in this road. So I will pray for other government, uh, I think uh, president and the governor, the incoming president, and the governor to complete this road so that it will be easy for us to apply this road. And I pray that God will continue to assist them so that this, they, because they, in terms of governance, it is not easy. So if you see something like this, we have to co co commend their efforts so that it will energize, energize them to do more so that the governor and the local government uh, chairman will emulate the president in doing this so that the life of the, our people and how to move our, uh, our, our, our commodities from the rural areas to the urban area. It is it, 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 easy for us. The, 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 most of the products in the rural areas, they are perishable goods. And if the road is not good, before they can move them from the rural areas to urban areas like, like Ibadan and Lagos, the goods will be damaged. So we commend our government effort for doing this, and God will continue to bless them. Adedipe Ulushoye, who is the chief resident engineer of the project, says Copec Construction Limited handling the reconstruction has done some repair work on other parts of the road in order to ease the stress of road users. In Oshobo, Muiwa Omawumi, NT News. Thank you.